Welcome to Rebel Life Boxing, where I talk boxing and anything in between. Make sure to catch new videos daily at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. Also, catch an early bird video weekdays at 6 a.m. Support the channel, and thanks for watching. So we got Edgar Berlanga and David Benavidez, two dudes in the same weight class, both fighting at 168 pounds. Um, these two had, they've been, you know, just just like Jamal Charlo and David Benavidez, David Benavidez has been trading shots between Edgar Belonga and Jamal Charlo for quite a while now. More so with Jamal Charlo, but uh, there have been some words traded between David Benavidez and Edgar Belonga. David Benavidez claims that nobody on his record is worth it, is worth a damn. He says that uh, Edgar Belonga was knocked out in sparring. Uh, Edgar Belonga says his comp is way better than David Benavidez's competition, which is simply not the case. Ed, uh, David Benavidez definitely has the better resume than Edgar Belonga. Everybody knows that hands down. It's not the best resume as of yet, but it's much better than Edgar Belonga's. So if these two ever met in the ring, who would win this fight? See, so, okay, you got David Benavidez, tall, power in both hands, super fucking fast, bro. In impressive speed, great combinations, volume puncher. He can turn it up and down at will. No real footwork, though. No defense. And you know something? Uh, David Benavidez recognizes this because when they asked him after the post fight with, with, um, the fight with Ron Ellis after the fight, they asked him, you know, um, there's some things that you that you could have did better. He's like, well, look, there's some things that I definitely need to improve on. And I'm pretty sure he, he met his defense is actually one of them. That would be something that he would definitely need to fix going into Edgar Belonga. Um, we got Edgar Belonga, him too, no footwork. No real head movement. I haven't seen any real defense from him because he hadn't he hasn't had to use any defense yet because all of his fights have been knockouts in the first round. So he if he does have any form of defense, we didn't we never had a chance to see it yet because you know in his pro career he hasn't had to show that yet. He hasn't went the distance with anyone. Which is not really a good thing. You know, I know um Early on in fighters' careers, they fight really low tier comp. Sometimes maybe like six, seven fights in, they fight somebody where they're gonna just they can blow out their first five, six, seven opponents. But when you start getting up into the double digits and it's 15 wins, 17, 19, you should be stepping it up. He, they should have moved him a little uh, up a quite a couple of notches by now. Where he getting into fights where I say around 11th or 12th fight, he should have been into with fighters that's going to take him out into deep water. Just an opinion. But, you know, for the experience. And Edgar Belonga also recognizes he needs that work. He understands that as well. So I, I respect him and David Benavidez. They they recognize the things that they need to be done and they need to work on and stuff like that. That's what, that's what makes a good fighter. And, uh... Edgar Belonga went back to him. Serious, devastating power. I watched him. There was, uh, was his last fight? I don't remember the dude's name. He, I mean, the first couple of hits, the dude's eye was already looking like it was closing. I mean, the first few punches, the guy's eye was done. It was almost puffed, like sh wired shut. I was like, holy shit. His power is serious, man. That's he has real raw power behind. It's not a gimmick. You know what I mean? Um, he's from New York, just like me. I know some folks that know Edgar Belonga, man, and um, he's he's the, he's the real deal. That shit ain't a game with that power. I won't really get into a lot of shit that I was told, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's to say, yeah, he 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 definitely put some dudes out out there in the street. But anyway. How would this fight look? Uh, his his speed, you know, um, moderate speed, not wicked fast, not sluggishly slow. 
I would say low to moderate speed is Edgar Polanga. So how would that fight look? Well, if you know, you got to put it where you got to put it like this in the sense is you got to say what if under certain conditions, right? If David Benavidez sharpened up his defense, how would it look against ben, uh, Edgar Belanga? Now, I'm going to have to go with that one because since the fight with Ron Ellis, David Benavidez recognizes that he needs to work on some things. And I know one of those is defense. So an Edgar Belanga fight is probably way off from now. I would say maybe a year or two. He has enough time to work on his defense. So I am going to assume going into an Edgar Belanga fight that David Benavidez fixed his defense. Okay, so with that being said, if these two ever fought, it would go just like this. You got a come forward fighter, pressure fighter. You got two pressure fighters. It's going to come down to who can handle each other's power. Uh, Edgar Belonga's chin has not been tested yet. It's unproven. David Benavidez, he his chin has not really been tested by any power punches as well. Besides Anthony Durrell. But David Benavidez's chin has been proven way more than uh, Edgar Belonga's. So it's going to come down to that. It's going to come down to which of these guys can handle each other's power the best. Because you got two power punches coming in. I would say I would have to give the edge and power to Edgar Belonga. That's just what I see on the surface. I don't know. Look, I'm not in the ring with these dudes. So I could be wrong. David Benavidez could probably punch much harder. But then when you look at the way David Benavidez was punching Ronald Wells, Ronald Wells' face wasn't even, I mean, he had some light uh, swelling, but it wasn't like, he wasn't out there looking like Rocky and shit the way a lot of, I was looking at some of these fighters that Edgar Belonga was punching and I was like, yeah. So I would have to give that power edge definitely to Edgar Belonga, man. Uh, David Benavidez is a, a slight bit more of a boxer than Edgar Belonga is. David Benavidez is more of a boxer and he can slug it out with you, but he's more of a boxer, much more calculated with his punches, way more accurate than Edgar Belonga. Less, and I haven't really seen David Benavidez be as, as careless in the ring as, David, as Edgar Belonga. So what's gonna end up happening in that fight is he going he moves his head, assuming his defense is up to par. He's gonna be slipping and moving. He's much he's much faster than Edgar Belaga. Assuming he worked on his footwork a little bit, he's moving around more than Edgar Belaga. Edgar Belaga has to chase him around, and you're gonna have David Benavidez coming forward trying to push him back. It's gonna be like a back and forth, like a, a shuffle between who has the more bravado. Okay, you're pushing me back. I can't allow you to push me back. David Benavidez is gonna start pushing Edgar Belaga back. That jab is going to be a problem for uh, Edgar Belonga. Because David Benavidez's reach is longer. It's going to be a problem for Edgar Belonga. Uh, he's much taller. So I, I see David Benavidez peppering him with the jab and doing pretty much the same thing that he, that Ron, he was doing to Ron Ellis, but with a bit more cautiousness and more defensive minded. Because um, he knows he's going into a fight with a different breed of a puncher. So. I see, um, I don't see any knockouts in that. I don't see David Benavidez knocking out Edgar Belonga. It, it can happen, though. It can happen. It, it, it's possible, but I, I can't see that in this fight here. Um, I do see, I, I, can, I can see him getting frustrated. David Benavidez has the experience over him. He's going to frustrate this kid. He's going he's gonna to frustrate him. And then that's gonna gonna frustrate. He's gonna frustrate Edgar Belonga, and that's when Belonga is gonna start swinging widely, because David's gonna be catching him, moving, sticking. Then he's gonna he's gonna plant his legs and start peppering him, moving around a little bit more, hitting him to the body. He's gonna break. I think he's gonna break Edgar Belonga down systematically in that fight, man. Where his power won't even be a factor anymore. And possibly I could see Edgar getting stopped. So I had to kind of roll back a little bit. I, I see, I don't see him just knocking out Edgar Belonga flush. 
I see I can see Edgar Belong getting stopped in that fight. Probably seventh round stoppage. So my 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 take on this fight on the who wins level. Uh it would have to be David Benavidez for a seventh round stoppage. Uh, Edgar Belonga is fighting next month. I think April 24th. So he's getting a little bit more experience. We'll see what happens in this fight. David Benavidez might be fighting Charlo. Who knows? Charlo said he agrees to fight him now. So we'll see what happens with that. So in between them two ever showing down, they're going to have a little bit more experience under their belt. So when I get my prediction... If they ever do officially fight, you know, um, that that might change, but I it might not change much. It's not going to change much. I still think I, uh, David Benavidez beats him. But as of now, if they were to fight, I see uh, Edgar Belonga losing seventh round KO. Get back to me. Let me know what you think about these two. If they ever got in the ring, like and subscribe, drop a comment. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Peace.